hello everyone it's lola here i welcome you back to my kitchen yes this is going to be my last recipe for this year so i thought i should just pop in show you how i make this and wish you a happy new year in advance and for those of you that had a slightly rough year this year let's be hopeful you know 2020 is pregnant with a lot of good things for us so don't lose hope. So today I want to just show you how to make pineapple fried rice. But before we start, I'd like to let you know that this is not your authentic Asian fried rice. I've actually tweaked it a little bit to personalize it. It comes together pretty easily and it's very filling, you know. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I always do is to fry my eggs and to do that I just get a little bit of oil preheated in my pan. I'm going to wait a little bit for the oil to get hot. And by the way you have to put your stove on a high heat because everything is going to be very fast. Trust me it's going to be really fast. So once the oil is hot I'm going to go ahead and crack in my eggs. Next, I'm just going to use my you know, wooden spoon to break the yolk. I want the yolk to mix with the egg white. So basically we are scrambling everything together here. Also, I like to let you know that whenever I'm doing this, I like to use a nonstick pan. Trust me, if you don't use a nonstick, it can be disastrous. Everything is just going to end up sticking to the bottom of your pan. So once the egg is all cuddled together and you know, well done, I'll just go ahead and take this off the heat. Then I'm going to continue with the rest of the ingredients. So moving on, I'm going to be adding a little extra oil in my pan, about a tablespoon. And to that, I'll be adding my minced garlic, my minced ginger, and my diced onions. I'm using the red onion today. The white onion is also going to work, but you know, I'm just using this. So we are going to go ahead and stir fry this for about 30 seconds to one minute or anywhere in between. Okay, as you can see guys, um, my onion is not too soft and this is how I like to leave it. I still like to feel a little bit of crunch, you know, in the onion. So, Moving on, I'm going to be adding my shrimps. I'm going to go ahead and cook this until the shrimp is well done. And this should take about, let's say, four to five minutes or anywhere in between. After cooking the first side for about, let's say, two to three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and flip it to the other side so it can cook for another one to two minutes. Okay. So now our shrimps are all done. As you can see, they are pink. I'm going to go ahead now and add my diced red bell pepper together with my green peas. So just give that a quick mix for about a minute or thereabouts. My veggies are well heated through at this point. Next up, I'm going to be adding my rice. And today I'm using basmati rice. It's my choice for today because I like the way the grains kind of get separated when I, when I make it. So we are going for basmati. And by the way, you can actually use any variety of rice you want. You can even use brown rice, you know. It's all well and good. Next up, I'm going to be adding my sriracha sauce just for a little bit of heat. You can also use any hot pepper you like. It's all well and good. And if you don't want the pepper at all, just skip it. Then I'll be adding my soy sauce. Okay, guys, this smells really good right now. I'm just going to go ahead and have a taste. I want to see if the salt is... All right, I don't think I need any salt today for some reasons, but I'm just going to add you know, a little bit of black pepper, just a little bit. Go ahead and stir that in. All 
if you are making yours and you feel there's a need to add some salt go ahead and you know do that at this point okay and to the main ingredients of the day my pineapple i'm going to go ahead and add that feel free to be as generous as you want with this today i'm using about two cups you can use more you can use less once the pineapple is well heated through i'll now go ahead and add my scrambled eggs the one we made earlier and finally my scallions so just go ahead mix everything together and here we go guys as you can see this looks really good and i can tell you it's super delicious whenever i make this for my kids to school they are always always happy they're like mommy thank you mommy thank you i'm like yeah i got it <laughs> yeah honestly you have to give this a try you're going to like it So guys that is it this is all done as you can see it's looking really beautiful and honestly it tastes just as good or even you know, taste better you know so guys thank you so very much for spending your time with me i really appreciate all your support all through the years it's because of you that i'm here you know so thank you thank you thank you i wish you all a very prosperous new year and by the way back to the recipe let me know what you think about this recipe if you like it and if you try it don't forget to let me know tag me on instagram facebook i'll be more than happy you know to to give you a shout out so until next time i'll talk to you shortly or until next year <laughs> bye